Hello YouTube and welcome to Groundworks. This is a special episode of Kerbal Engineering. Actually, it will be like a mini series. And the main focus of it is to show you guys how to build a space station. Now, um, some people might be building with stock. I personally prefer to build with mods and I'm going to get into the reasons why I'm doing so in a, in a short while. Anyway, my design process is a little bit different than just putting things together in the KSP right away. So, uh, there is a fair bit of planning involved. And uh, that also depends on the many things which ultimately impacts the final design of my space station. So, the things that you need to think about is first, before you even get into the KSP, and I typically do it on paper, is design. So, the first thing to think about is purpose and capacity. That will also depend on which mods you're using, I guess. But, what will your station be? Will it be research and science lab that will be, for example, in orbit around Kerbin? Will it maybe be an orbital communications relay somewhere around, I don't know, lathe? Will it be like a refueling station, maybe in the lace orbit or somewhere around that? Or would it be something like a self-contained colony deep inside the Duna's gravitational well? So as you can see, those are very, very different types of the, of the space stations. And they're also, I mean, being also dictate to which mods, if you prefer to use mods. And uh, some of the good mods that you would, might want to consider is, for example, Station Science, uh, which would be kind of popular things if you want to build, like, research and science labs. Then maybe uh, Near Future Technologies, because it has so many different propulsion means if you want to build like a refueling station that has many different fuels available. Then we are talking also if you can are choosing if this station will be an automated or crude. That's also dependent on, for example, mods like life support. For example, like tech life support or Umbra Spice Industries life support or others. And then taking that to the next level, if you want to make those uh, stations self-contained, you need to think about maybe uh, UKS, MKS or something like that. And if you want to make your life even more difficult and miserable, like I do in my interplanetary save, then use remote tech, because if you are then placing stations around Jewel or Duna, then you might need to either um, assemble them when you have a command station nearby, or you have to uh, send a Kerbal there. So, uh, the second thing, which are mod where the second, the third thing to think about would be the station layout. And this is basically if the station you want it to be like horizontal or vertical. And this is more or less usually purely aesthetic choice. So basically you can... That depends on your style and preference. For example, I, in my so far, as many saves as I have, I've, most of them have been like cross design, more vertical than horizontal. But for example, if you look, take a look at this uh, orbital um, refueling station in lathe atmosphere, or not atmosphere, but lathe orbit, uh, that you can see that this is clearly horizontal design. And yeah, I mean, that is just aesthetic choice, but uh, it's good to put some variety in. Uh, then the next thing to think about is, do you want only one dock, or do you want multiple ones? And that also depends on the resupply options that I'm going to go into shortly, but depends on the type and the size of the docking craft primarily, and also depends on the station purpose. I mean, it's, if it's a small research station, then one docking port for the resupply ship would be enough. But if you plan on like m multiple orbital hub or spaceport, whatever, uh, in that case, you might want to put more docking ports as it would be easier to have multiple craft to dock to it, etc. 
Then the next thing to think about, even before you start designing, would be the power generation. And the power generation mainly depends obviously on the purpose, but also on the planet around which the station would be orbiting. Because the station also depends, I mean, in terms of, um, for example, everything between Moho and Duna which are more closer to the sun, the solar panels will, for the most of the cases, do it pretty nicely. However, if you plan to do a station around Joule or onwards, you either have to put some big freaking uh, solar panels, or even better, you need to put nuclear generators or RTGs to power provide the power supply. And by power supply, I mean electric charge. Then... Uh, the next thing to think about is the resupply options. So, what would be the types of craft that are resupplying your station? Would it be like small ships? Would it be automated ships? Would it be like big ships? Or would it be space planes, SSTOs, shuttles? That also impacts the layout and docking. Okay, so once you uh, let's assume for a second that you have really chosen and selected all of these components, as I will show in the next example. Then we will be going into the next phase, which is sketching it. Okay, so uh, let us, for the demo purposes, assume that we have this defined the following station. We want to build a Kerbin Orbital Refuel 1 station, which will be automated with remote tech, and I want to have it be a refueling station in low carbon orbit that will be providing multiple fuels, liquid fuel, ox liquid fuel oxidizer, liquid hydrogen, xenon, lithium, carborundru carborundrum, uh, I want horizontal layout and I want docking options as four regular docks and one SSTO dock vertical and for power I want solar panels. Resupply ships would be like ships and SSTO shuttle. Uh, by the way, this is would be the exact same station that you saw around the lathe orbit. And the reason why I'm showing you this screen with like sketch and stuff is mainly because uh, now we're in the sketching phase, meaning that uh, we will be sketching how our station should look like. And this is an application called Pencil Sketch Master. Uh, and this is an application that I was able to download from the Windows Store. I guess Apple or MacBook users have a great app called, I believe, Sketch or something like that. But this one is kind of free, so you don't need to spend any money. And uh, for the simplicity purpose, I have decided you can start with like gallery. And for simplicity reasons, I have just created a screen called blank. So... This is just a blank screen so that you can start from scratch. Now, uh, let's say that we want to design, we said, first of all, refueling station horizontal design. So, let's put like, let's select the blue color, uh, medium weight brush, and let's just say, okay, I'm not the best drawing guy, but let's just say this, will be our main axle. On that main axle, we will have one vertical axle, and uh, we can say that the orange part will of the axle will be actually, let's say, the comms. So we want to say that the comms will be on the vertical axle, something like, you know, communications, the issue, and ultimately uh, here probably we will be pu wanting putting some more features but we will come to that in a later now i will mark the red uh, for the fuel tanks so we want to have fuel tanks like and i'm drawing in i mean in terrible 3d but bear with me please so we want orbital tanks to be like one one two three four five, six, seven, eight, 
and then here also one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we can say, for example, that, uh, okay, yeah, text, I'm not too good at text, so this will be liquid fuel. Uh, okay, move around, how do I move around? Okay, so let's say liquid fuel will be this one, then we will have liquid fuel oxidizer tanks to power our regular rockets then we will have xenon tanks which will be I guess here and let's say here we want carbor carborundrum I guess those will be just one row and here in the middle I want to be putting like lithium. So, and that also applies to the ones in the rear. So this is roughly the layout that I want to be doing and I'm just gonna put once again the brush and I'm gonna go once again with the, hold on, brush, 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 I think draw here, pen, not pen, uh, what was I using, draw, uh, maybe this pen, yeah, yeah, a little bit thicker for sure, okay, so the idea is to indicate that those tanks are not connected between them, but they're more like docked to the main axle, okay, so, uh, I think I do want to just shorten up one of them so I will use a little bit here and once again redraw it like a little ooh, oopsie I didn't mean to do that so I'll need to redraw it hold on uh -huh. not the rubber main axle back sorry about that guys like this and then uh, we said that I wanted to put uh, another tank here the reason why I'm so fiddly about it is because I wanted to put a green here and this will be I'm sorry for the terrible drawing this would be the dock port and it will be like this. So here would be the regular docks and here would be the SSTO dock. The reason because SSTO comes from underneath, connects and the regular ships just dock here. Now last but not least, not in any way, we want to have here, uh, I'm sorry this is a bad tint, I'll just use azure blue I guess, these we will have solar panels and we will have some huge freaking solar panels so here and then here so as you can see horizontal design we are designing our fuel tanks we are designing I mean how does it look and here already at this stage you can start and plan roughly what else do you need so we said we have power generation, we have docking ports, we have our fuel tanks, what else do we need? Well guys we need, okay not this but let's put it to yellow, we need the RCS because here we will have a lot of, we will need to have a lot of thrusters so some RCS tank and maybe some storage um, in terms of electric charge could be done here. So let's just put RCS and while we're at it we might as well you know when it comes to RCS we might be putting RCS and uh, also I believe electric charge and stuff like that. So this is roughly the sketch of the station that we want to build. And 
ultimately uh, the station which I'm kind of you know proposing that we do would look something along these lines let me just show you something like these lines so yeah as you can see this is the station that we will be building main axle then you want to have a vertical axle rcs communications uh, additional tank and here we have our crisp Across the docking ports, four docking ports for the smaller ships and one for the SSTO. Then we have liquid fuel and oxidizer tanks. Then we have our carborundum. Here we have xenon. I believe this is lithium and then is liquid hydrogen. So this is basically the implementation of, and I can just maybe put it even side by side. Don't know if that's going to work, but so that you can just see and compare. So this is basically, guys, what I'm trying to tell you, that you have to think about the design before you actually assemble it in KSP. But anyway, uh, so the next thing to do is actually to think about how will you put this station into the orbit of the planet that you're thinking. And we said, okay, Kerbin, because I just wanted to show off the process, but that will be coming in the episode two. Until then, thank you very much for watching. This is Groundworks signing off.